This short video is about how to use a ruler and a compass to draw a regular hexagon. Now there's lots of regular polygons that can be drawn with a ruler and a compass. If you've got a regular polygon with n sides, the way to tell if it can be made with a ruler and a compass is you find all the odd prime factors of n. Now 6 for the hexagon has only one odd prime factor, and that's 3. You ask if they're all different. Well, there's only one, so it's all different. And you ask if all of these odd prime factors are powers of 2 plus 1. Well, 3 is 2 plus 1, and 2 is a power of 2. So sure enough, 6 passes this test, and so we can construct a regular hexagon using a ruler and a compass. In fact, it's very easy to make a hexagon with a ruler and a compass. You almost don't need the ruler. First of all, we're going to draw a hexagon inside this circle. I'll make sure that the compass has a radius set to the same as the radius of the circle. And then, from B, I'll draw two short arcs like that and like that. Then from each of these, another one, another short arc. And finally, from either of those, one more little arc there. Now we've got six points around the circle. And these six points are the corners of the regular hexagon. And there you have it, a regular hexagon. If you want a regular hexagon with a given edge, it's almost just as easy. Because the length of the edge is the same as the radius of the circle that the hexagon's in. So if we can find this circle, we'll be able to draw a regular hexagon very easily. So, I've used the compass, the compass is set to the length of this edge, to draw a couple of little arcs here and here, and with the centre on A, I've found that point and that point. This point is the centre of the hexagon, so I'll connect, I'll draw some arcs around here. I could draw the whole circle, but I'm not here, I'm not this time. So now we've got these two corner points of the hexagon and there'll be two more corner points there I should have made that arc a bit longer and one more just there. So now we've got the centre of the hexagon and the six points around the edge. So let's join them all together. And the original point arc AB. And there you have it. A regular hexagon sitting on this edge AB. Now those two constructions are almost too easy. So let's set ourselves a bit of a challenge. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a regular hexagon that sits outside a given circle. So I want the edges of this hexagon to just skim this circle here. That's a bit more challenging. We start by taking the ruler 
and drawing the line between, drawing the line from A to B. A is the centre of the circle, and B is some point on the circumference of the circle. So we'll draw the line, make it about this long. Then, take the compass. Well, first of all, let's label this point C. Then, we'll take the compass, make sure the radius of the compass is set to the radius of the circle, and with the point on B, find another point out here. We'll call that D. While we've got the compass point on B, let's also find this point here. And we'll give these names. This point will, on the line we'll call D. And this point up here, above A and B, we'll call E. Next, if I set the compass radius to the distance from C to B, that's the twice the radius of the original circle, or the diameter of the original circle. Then, I can draw an arc out here. So there it is. Okay, so this is the arc of a circle with radius 2. Then, I'll set the compass to the distance between D and E. So there we have it, almost. All right, that will do. And I'll find where this circle, with this radius, meets here. So now these two big circles, they meet in a new point. We'll call that F. That's about all we need, because now, if I take the compass and I set the radius to the distance between B and F, like so, then this distance here is the radius of a very important circle, which I'll draw centered on A. Draw this nice big circle around A. Careful not to let the compass slip. So now we've got a nice big circle around A. And I've already got two points on this circle. This one which I haven't named. And another point here which I haven't named. But if we start with those points and draw some little arcs and another little arc from this point here next to C, which I haven't named. Now I've got six points around this big circle. And if I join these six points, you'll find, well, they'll form a hexagon. The hexagon's a regular hexagon. And what's more, the edges of this regular hexagon just skim the circle that I started with, which is exactly what we were trying to do. And there it is, a regular hexagon whose edges just touch the circle that we started with.
And so there you have it, three different ways to construct a regular hexagon, which is one of the easiest regular shapes to make if you want to make it with a given edge length, or if you want to draw it inside a given circle. And slightly more challenging, you can also draw it just outside a given circle.